Hi guys, Ange here. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my channel. So last night I was editing and discovered that I had deleted the intro to this video. So I am just videoing this to quickly put the video together. And in this video I am sharing with you a get ready with me utilizing the makeup products from Charlotte Tilbury that I have in my makeup collection. I will leave a link here for a video that I posted earlier this week on all of the makeup items I have in my Charlotte Tilbury collection and then I wanted to show a makeup look getting ready with me using those products. These are similar products to what I use in the video. They're not identical, but they are all still Charlotte Tilbury on my face. Now we are very fortunate in New Zealand to be able to source Charlotte Tilbury through beautylish.com as well as Cult Beauty in the UK. Both websites ship free to New Zealand after a certain dollar value. I really enjoy the customer service and uh, how quick the shipping is from Beautylish and that is usually my preferred website for shopping for these items. If you haven't already guys and you would like to come back and see more videos from me I would really appreciate it if you clicked the subscribe button. I would love to see you back. I upload two videos a week. If you'd like to see how I created a makeup look using Charlotte Tilbury makeup products please keep watching. This is going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. Just dotting it all over my face and blending that in. I'm too pale. I'm going to have to try and play with the white balance a little bit. I'll finish blending this and then we'll see. I can fix it. That's looking more like it. I'm just going to pop a little bit more on my pigmented areas. This foundation is better than I was expecting really. It's not as full coverage as Double Wear the Estee Lauder Double Wear but it's not bad um, it is pretty good on my skin not as long wearing again as the Double Wear but it is pretty good so it's a, it's a nice foundation I wouldn't say it's my holy grail but it is quite nice and it is nice on my oily combination skin. It's nice to have the choice. I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher Conceal and Treat Stick. This is in a twist up pen very similar to the YSL to Chiclair or the Clinique twist up pen. And I'm just going to Seal under my eyes and blend that in. I'm quite enjoying this little wee con Zoeva concealer buffer brush that I got recently in a little travel kit. Just take the excess around my snores. and then just blend out with my beauty blender. Now I am still going to sit under my eyes with my hourglass diffused light powder because I do, if I'm not careful, my eyes can look crepey very quickly and I do like this because it's super super light. I have tried the next powder I'm going to use under my eyes but it doesn't um, I do get a bit crepey quicker. Now I'm going to go in with this 
product that I really enjoy. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand Easy Contour Stick. I have mine in the colour Fair Medium. I love this product. If you are new to if you are new to liquid contour, this is a beautiful product. My gripe is is that it is a tiny amount of product in here for the price. It's very expensive for the amount of product that you get. You only get 12 mils, which is less than what you would get in an eye cream. Comes with a sponge applicator, which is squeezed out. So I don't know how good it would be if you were traveling because I find tube, squeezy tubes like this get squashed in the in your bag and um, dispense product in the lid when you're traveling but this just blends really beautifully and I've put way too much there but that's okay <coughs> and I'm going to blend it with a Tarte duo fiber brush and I'm going to start with my nose because I want the least amount of product I'm going to go in with my sponge I have more control with the sponge it just blends to a really soft blended look it doesn't look heavy it it is so easy to blend so I would suggest if you are wanting to try cream contouring that this is a lovely product it's just quite expensive for what you get but I need to practice and I like this product for its purpose Okay, then I'm going to go in and set my face with the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder and I've got mine in the colour 2 Medium. Taking my Lemur Powder Brush and just going over my face. This is a really nice powder a lot of people really rave about it it is not my preferred setting powder for an oily skin it is a great touch up powder but um, I find it doesn't give me the longevity as some of my other favorite powders but it is a great touch up powder for giving a beautiful flawless finish one of the products that I really do enjoy from Charlotte Tilbury is the Legendary Brows. I have mine in the colour Linda. I possibly would get it in the next darker colour next time and it comes with a really tiny tiny brush for grooming your eyebrows. I actually like popping this in my brows before a powder and that's what it looks like just on its own but I am going to go in with my Kat Von D brow powder so now that I have filled them in with brow powder I'll just go back again because my eyebrows do not like staying in the upright position and finish them off okay contour i'm going to go in with one of my favorite palettes the film star bronze and glow face sculpt and highlight palette i have mine in the original color that came out i'm going to use my morphe r13 brush and i am just going to go over the same areas that I used the cream contour just to set. I really enjoy this product. It is just a beautiful neutral color. I love the highlight. It is a soft color, great everyday color if you don't want an in your face highlighter. And I really enjoy the contour. So that's the Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette. 
for bronzer I'm going to go in with a bronzer from one of my instant look in a palettes five minute face on the go and I'm going to use the bronzer shade from this palette seductive beauty I love these palettes they are just amazing so I'm just going to bronze my face using the bronze color from here just warming up my face because I'm so pale as it is the middle of winter. And I'm also going to use the same blush colours from this palette. Oh, and the brush I used for my bronzer, and it is the brush I love the most for my bronzer, is the Eco Tools. Eco Tools Full Powder Brush. I, I really enjoy this for bronzer because of the little wee tip on the end there. So I'm going to combine these two colours here. I can't be bothered with the fluffing of the swish and pop so I just combine the two colours and sweep that on my cheeks. You can also use the blush colours as eyeshadows which I have done when I've been on holiday as well. So that's the seductive beauty for my bronzer and blush. Then I'm going to go in with the shadows from the Beauty Glow palette for my eyeshadows. So I'm going to go in with the number one prime shade and just apply that all over my lid that has already been prepped with Urban Decay's primer. I love this shade. It is really nice even if you were to wear this colour on its own then the contour um, if you're on holiday and you just want a quick easy look, this is your lid shade, this is a crease shade and you're out the door. It's why I love these palettes, it takes the thought out of anything if you're in a hurry, but this is just a beautiful shade all over the lid. Then I'm going to take a Sephora Pro Crease brush and go in with the Enhance colour and just go in on the outer I'm doing more of my comfort zone more of my comfort zone neutral eye and makeup look today I'm going to take my daughter out for lunch today she's just been really sad not well getting her down she's a very studious young lady and it's very focused on her schoolwork and it's her second to last year at high school and she's always achieved very very well and having glandular fever has just set her back a little bit and it's just getting a little bit much for her the poor thing so we had tears last night so I thought I'd take her out for lunch and try and perk her up a little bit because she does work very very hard with her schoolwork. Okay so that is the enhanced shade number two which is really really pretty. I am going to go in with the smoke shade in the same colour so using all three of the colours with my Wayne Goss number four brush. I just love these brushes, they're so soft and I do hope to add more to my brush stash along with some other brushes that Beautylish now have which is Smith Cosmetics and I do want to try the Hooker 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 the Hooker 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 the Hakahudo brushes, I think I've just butchered that, but um, the Japanese brushes made very similarly or in the same technique that the Wayne Goss brushes are made. So I would really like to try them out too because there is a real difference 
in the brushes, how they feel. I do also like my my budget brushes. They, they are they serve a great purpose, and I do enjoy them. But it is really nice to have um, a few luxurious brushes. That's my opinion, anyway. Okay, so that's using the three shades out of the Beauty Glow Palette Five Minute Face. Now I'm going to go in with one of my favourite eyeshadow palettes and that is the Instant Eye Palette that she put out. It was limited edition. I think you can get it on Beautylish at the moment. But this comes with 12 shadows and they are all in different looks. And I'll go explain that in my Charlotte Tilbury collection video and I will leave a link for that here on how you can utilize this palette but this has some beautiful shimmery colors in it and I am going to go in with the date eye shimmers and just add those to my eye and just in the outer third to give it a bit of something something just a little bit extra don't need to do this but I'm just trying to utilize as many shades as I can I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and go in with the dark color in this palette of the date I Just in the outer third. Not even the outer third actually, just the outer edge of the eye. Going back in with our Sephora brush and just blending all those colours in. very conscious, conscious that when I do my eyes I like what I see in front but sometimes I haven't blended it as great as I would if I was doing it on somebody else or when I catch myself in a side view later but I haven't really blended in very well at the edge here so that's that I'm going to take my finger and go in with the desk guide glitter and just pop that in the very middle just to utilize as many shades as I can and yes it's still a neutral look but it is using several of the colors that I have I love 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 this palette I don't have a, a liner or mascara from Charlotte Tilbury so I'll just whip off do my liner mascara and lashes and I'll be right back okay so that's back with lashes and eyeliner and now I'm going to go in with my lip cheat and pillow talk I actually think I need the iconic nude color more than pillow talk this is probably a little bit pale for me Before I put lipstick on, I'll just go in with a little bit of the highlighter from the Smoky Eye palette. Now this is the iconic Bar of Gold highlighter and Charlotte is actually bringing out a trio of highlighters based around this gold highlighter. So I just wanted to do the lip first before I put lipstick on. Now I have a collection of five lipsticks. I think I'll either go in with Very Victoria or Pillow Talk. So that's Pillow Talk and that's Very Victoria. Very similar. Pillow Talk and Very Victoria. And I think I'll go in with Hello Talk actually. 
to match the, the lip liner. So that is the Pillow Talk in a Matte Revolution lipstick and then I'll just finish off with the highlighter. A little bit just on the brow bone. Okay guys, so that is the finished look using all of my Charlotte Tilbury products. I The only items that I didn't have Charlotte Tilbury products was a mascara and an eyeliner. Everything else I was able to complete this look using Charlotte Tilbury. I love Charlotte Tilbury, it's one of my favourite brands. If you've been watching me for a wee while, I do gravitate towards the higher end brands of makeup and Charlotte Tilbury is one of them that I absolutely enjoy very much. In a video that I posted in the past I shared with you a lot of the YouTube channels that I enjoy watching and in that video I asked for some requests from all of you of YouTube channels that you could recommend because I was on the hunt for some new content. In my next few videos I want to share some of those channels that I've found because I am thoroughly enjoying them. One of the channels that I have discovered is Jax Lorraine. Jackie has got a beautiful channel aesthetically it is just really amazing I love her content she's so calm she has great videos and I am thoroughly enjoying her channel I will leave a link below to Jackie's channel and the channel is called Jack's Lorraine and if you enjoy beauty channels I am sure you are going to enjoy hers I hope you enjoyed that guys, if you did please give it a thumbs up, I would truly appreciate it and if you haven't already and you would like to subscribe, please click the subscribe button, I would truly appreciate that as well. I hope you've all had a beautiful and a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you next time. See you later guys, bye!